Dara has now left the villa. Where's Tom? Have you forgotten about him? Where is Tom? Where is this unfinished business storyline? Because because of that storyline, Zara was sacrificed. <laughs> people and welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is doing okay and everyone is doing well guys thank you so much for your well wishes as you can see clearly <laughs> i am on camera so i'm feeling 100 percent better back in the uk and honestly just feeling good and buzzing to get back to these reviews so thank you so much for your well wishes tell your friend to tell a friend your girl is back i hope you guys are doing well now a lot of singlets to tear today okay let's get into business a lot of singlets to tear today a lot to discuss overall an annoying episode, I think that's what I have to say. I, the episode didn't really give for me, if I'm gonna be honest. A lot of pointless interactions, you know, new couples, annoying people, just like Ron. So definitely a lot for us to discuss today. So as I usually end up always say, number one, if you haven't yet subscribed, of course be sure to subscribe and definitely join the family. Number two, also be sure to follow me on my Instagram and also my Twitter at Sarah Destiny X. And as always, like I usually say, please get cozy and comfy with the hot Rabina and some snacks and let's get into this review. Alrighty, so my goal for this review is to try and talk as slowly as possible because people have been complaining that I speak too fast I'm sorry guys so let's try and slow it down so let's start off with Shaq and Tanya um you guys do already know from yesterday's episode Shaq was definitely annoyed with the whole kissing challenge I really did tell you guys my thoughts with that um personally I didn't think it was that deep I know a lot of people were like oh Tanya was too excited to win it was a game I'm sorry it was a challenge I didn't think it was that serious and Tanya of course to say to the girls that this is the type of thing that gives her the ick like if Shaq is going to move mad she's not here for it of course they ended up having a conversation and he did say that you know he gets off he gets sorry pissed oh sorry I thought I saw a spider but he gets pissed off quite easily because he really really likes her that's a red flag to me okay it's given possessive no guy should ever tell you that oh, you, oh sorry guys I keep thinking I'm seeing a spider well no guy should ever tell you that oh oh um I hope you know that I was only angry because I care but mm -mm, that doesn't make any sense to me okay you're a man you're a grown adult for me that's a red flag let me know if you think that's a red flag down below i think that's a red flag you can't tell me that oh i just get angry because i like you so much if you like me maintain that anger i mean it was a it was honestly a challenge she didn't willingly go around the entire villa kissing all of the guys so for me shaq side eye <laughs> okay major side eye but he did say that um he felt like she wanted to win the challenge more than respect him tanya she's a better woman than me okay i do understand that there is compromise when it comes to relationships and situations with people that you like but she's honestly a better woman than me um she did say that she does feel like she understands where he's coming from or they of course ended up hugging it out and apologizing i just don't know i think that's what i'm trying to say i i just feel like shaq was doing the most and i stand by what i said in yesterday's review it was a red flag okay that was a red flag to me if y'all want to see that as green that's fine let me know down below but i definitely did see that as a red flag i do not feel shaq on that occasion i'm sorry let's move on to olivia and tanya having a conversation guys in life focus on your own mm? focus on your grass before you start looking at someone else's grass as people that whole interaction i didn't really have an issue with it in yesterday's episode olivia of course went to tanya because olivia felt like oh the kiss that you had with ron in the challenge was just a bit deep is it any of your is, is it anyone's business but tanya's and ron's if the key word is if they even decide to speak about it olivia coming to fast herself up into this whole situation for me it was very embarrassing i feel like she honestly just needs to face her front focus on your focus okay anything that goes on tanya and ron i did not think was olivia's place for her to speak on that whole situation very 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 interesting okay i, I, I don't know i'll be honest with you i just feel like that for me I'm still going to tell Olivia single a bit more, but for me that was honestly very interesting. I just didn't feel like she had a right to speak about any situation. I mean, everyone had to kiss other guys in the challenge. Relax. It's really not that serious. Um, what did I write down here as well? Oh yeah, I also wrote down that she has a lot of chat for, you know, Tanya and Ron, Tanya and Ron. You are seeing Kai currently. I don't know if you've spoken to Tanya about that whole situation. And it brings me back, okay? <laughs> it honestly brings me back to the fact that Zara should not have left that villa. I'm sorry guys, I think Love Island producers really fumbled the bag with Zara's departure of Love Island Villa. Zara's departure, because now it's, it's technically like her departure was in vain because Zara has, is Zara even back in the UK now? I don't even know. Zara has now left the villa. Where's Tom? 
Have you forgotten about him? Where is Tom? Where is this unfinished business storyline? Because because of that storyline, Zara was sacrificed. Where is that storyline? So Olivia, for me, red flag as well. She's not given what she thinks she's given and she needs to focus on her own grass. Let's briefly move on to Ron speaking to Kai about the entire Lana situation. Um, he did say that if Lana ends up picking Casey, he'll go back to Sammy. As I already told you, Ron is on minus 1,000 points in my mind right now. And I don't see him getting back up. I'll be honest with you. He can stay down there. I don't see things, okay? It's not changing over here at the end of the day. Like, it's like he doesn't learn. The entire, the same situation that you put Lana in, you're willing to also put Sammy in that situation, i.e. just in case I have another backup plan. Like I said, that's not how you treat females. And that's why for me, Ron is definitely on minus 1,000 points. I need him out of that villa. It's a shame. He's still there following tonight's ultimatum dumping situation, which we're going to get into at the end of this review. But for me, Ron doesn't learn and he, for that reason, can go. Of course, Tom and Sammy were having a conversation. How disappointing for me to still be seeing Tom on my screen. <laughs> okay? How, how, how disappointing. Um, he did say that he wants to see if there's something that's deeper that's there. Very interesting. You know, Sammy with Ron, Sammy with Kai, and now Sammy with Tom. I don't know, guys. I really, I, oh gosh, I feel so bad. I just do not care for these storylines and these casts right now. I don't care for these cast members at the moment. None of them are given, and it's a shame that Tom Height and Squarehead is honestly still there. Now, let's move on to Kai and Olivia. They were speaking about Ron and Tanielle once again, Olivia being a chatty patty. Focus on your focus, okay? Honestly, focus on your focus. I mean, why, why were you watching up Tanielle and Ron kissing anyway? I mean, it... <laughs> It doesn't make it... Has anyone come to you to tell you that they felt like you kissed the person they're in a couple with passionately? No. Why? Because no one cares. So why Olivia seems to care so much about who Tanya and everyone else is kissing for me is beyond me. Her and Kai can actually couple up together so that we can vote them out because I find them incredibly annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you don't, let me know down below. But for me personally, I do find them quite annoying. And I feel like... For me... Okay, this is just me. And what's quite funny is some people on Twitter also pointed this out as well. It's almost like Olivia is trying to get a one-up with Tanya because if you guys remember in episode one, Kai dodged Olivia to step forward for anime, I believe, and then from anime to Tanya, one of the two. I feel like this is low-key kind of like payback time. And like I said, once again, where is Tom? All right, we never saw that unfinished business storyline close. Why is it now that all of a sudden Zara has left the villa and unfinished business seems to be no more? It's not really given what they think that's given. So that is very, very, very annoying. But of course, they ended up kissing... I really don't care for Kai and Olivia, guys. I am so sorry if you do, but I really don't. Now, let's move on to Kai. Of course, he ended up going to tell the guy, the guy, sorry, that he secured a kiss with Liv, and Liv was also telling Tanya about the kiss. Um, it wasn't given for me. I mean, I actually did find it quite embarrassing on both their parts, <laughs> if I'll be very honest with you. I just, something is off with Olivia for me, guys, and I've been telling you this from the jump. So every time she does anything funny in an episode, it's just reminding me that I saw what I saw and I said what I said. You know what I mean? That's just all it's reminding me. Now let's move on to Spencer and Tanya speaking. By the way, I think they look amazing together. I wouldn't be mad if Spencer and Tanya done a little. Mm -mm. But like I said, we do, we definitely know that Spencer and Aaron are going home in tomorrow's, ep I mean, not tomorrow's, Sunday's episode. I mean, it's really not rocket science. But she was saying that she does feel like she has more loyalty to Lana in the whole Lana and Ron situation. Situation if she was going to pursue something with Ron. Um, I think Tanya is a great definition of a girl's girl, if I'm going to be very honest with you. But the whole Lana and Ron situ, I just feel like because it's so messy and so many feelings, and I'm, I'm sure that if Tanya and Ron got together, Lana would be crying like. <laughs> honestly crying works so I'm not really sure if that's even going to become a thing but I feel like Tanya's also starting to maybe think hmm we actually do get on quite well maybe there is a potential spark between myself and Ron who knows now let's move on to Ron and Sammy having a conversation about the kissing challenge they were also flirting um Tanya in the meantime was asking um Lana how she feels about the whole Ron and Katie situation and that she and Lana honestly needs to put herself first and I do stand by that I am going to get into that later on as well because of course Tanya and and Sammy, so many names in this villa, wow, but Tanya and Sammy ended up speaking to Lana as well. Did the information draw into her head? I'm not really sure, but she definitely does need to put herself first. Um, Sammy did say though to Ron that she does feel like he's being really silly and that he really needs to make up his mind, especially when she was speaking to her one-to-one -one confessionals. Of course, towards the end of the episode, we do know that they end up dead in the whole situation, but for me, I just think Ron is a flirt, and like I said, his points are definitely down by a thousand. So that's that. Let's move on to Jordan and Ellie having a conversation. Ellie, of course, ended up asking Jordan. <laughs> God. Ah, oh, 
You know when guys are, they just have heights? You, yeah? You know when guys just have height? That is exactly Jordan. But of course, Ellie ended up asking Jordan, you know, what exactly, who exactly is your top three? And he said Ellie, Sammy, and Olivia. What an interesting combo. And I said this in yesterday's video, guys, and this is what I mean. Like, it's not every day black club. I'm not trying to force the whole Jordan and Tanya, da 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 whatever. It's fine. But the problem that I have with Jordan is that he's picking bland babes. That's the problem that I have with Jordan. The girls that he's picking, none of them give to me. Okay? Sammy gets a pass. But Ellie and Olivia, who? Oh, okay. So, very interesting. Very surprised that he didn't add Tanya into that mix, considering I did think they had quite a good date. Um, but, yeah, Jordan, for me... His mic can stay mute. I wouldn't be mind. <laughs> okay, I would not be mad at all. Now let's move on to the morning after. You guys know every single morning is just central, conversation central. I'm not really going to speak too much about the guys. Um, but in regards to the girls, Lana was saying that she feels like her and Ron have had a connection for two weeks. And you know, Casey's only been 48 hours. Get this storyline immediately. Wrap it up by next week. Please, guys, wrap it up. We are tired. Lana, what are you going to do? Are you going to take Ron? Are you going to take Casey? This back and forth every day. There's two weeks, two weeks. Okay, three weeks ago, you didn't know Ron existed, all right? Let's talk about prior to the Love Island Villa. I think Lana defo needs to up her standards. A guy like this and a guy who cheats you like that doesn't even deserve to have access to you, point blank, full stop, period. So the fact she's still allowing um, Ron to come into her ears and be speaking empty nothings and sweet nothings to me is... Is very 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 telling of the type of person she views herself to be okay city girls needs to be up why is it currently down lana please wake up um kai of course ended up bringing olivia a drink um and olivia also confessed to the girls that her and kai ended up kissing i'll be very honest with you i tweeted this as well tanya is not here for it and i'm also not here for it as well i think olivia is actually quite fake like i said it's almost like she's trying to get a one up on tanya like all of a sudden kai makes me so happy oh my god she doesn't have to does she does she forget how she was screwing him when he stepped forward for another you know what I'm talking about how she was screwing him when he stepped forward for another girl in the first couple of episodes so for me I'm not here for it and with the way the camera keeps panning into Tanyelle's face as well I know for a fact Tanyelle is not here for it too now let's move on to Casey he ended up making Lana breakfast and honestly Shaq had a small conversation with Casey right so Shaq was like oh you know I'm so glad you're here you know somebody needs to help Lana da -da 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 -da. I'm going to need Shaq to stop talking a bit. Mm? I'm going to need Shaq to stop talking a bit. Um, it's quite interesting because I know people do have mixed reviews about this, but I did see a tweet where someone was saying, like, it's almost like Shaq is trying to protect Lana. And that's not a bad thing, okay? It's not a bad thing. Everyone needs friends at the end of the day. But where was all... I'm not trying to be funny, but where on earth was all this protection for Zara? It's like they hated her in that villa. It's actually like they hated her in that villa. But anyway, um, her and Ron did end up having a conversation after. By the way, I think I told you guys yesterday, but I do really like Casey. I think he's an absolute sweetheart. And my leg is numb again. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do think Casey is an absolute sweetheart. So um, yeah, they, of course, um, ended up having breakfast. And then, of course, Ron and Lana ended up having a conversation after as well. Um, I feel like Ron is a bit manipulative if i'm gonna be honest you're just like i know like things haven't been easy but i make better breakfast i don't think you even like salmon my dad will love you my family will love you okay but did you love me mm? even if you didn't love me Shad, because it's still early days did you like me enough to respect me you didn't so why are you coming to tell me now all about your family back home so that can get into lana's head you see men like that are scary mm? manipulative guys okay ron like i said he's on minus one thousand points right now and i really need lana to wake up um honestly i'm just not here for it like at all i'm really not here for it um we can briefly move on to sammy and tanya of course so sammy and tanya ended up having a conversation up to lana about the whole run situ and i think they are definitely trying to get into her head like girl you honestly need to wake up like read the room turn your senses on it's giving very weak right now it's giving you can walk over me and i will still be here when you're ready to knock on my door sammy was slightly trying to tell lana you know like ron has been trying to get to know me and speak to me he's just a flirt he's just a flirt and lana was kind of trying to get information out of sammy but honestly she should have read the room you know sometimes you don't need to say something in order for it to be obvious basically and essentially sammy is letting you know that this isn't a guy that you should take seriously they're trying to push things on with casey so 
I don't know, it's almost like Lana wants someone to spell it out for her or someone to literally shake her not to go for Ron, but I genuinely feel like she needs to give Casey a chance. She seems like a really, really, really nice guy. I think he's absolutely adorable. I love his smile and he definitely seems to care for Lana, but I'm not going to allow you to basically just push me to the side while she should figure out your situation with Ron. You need to let everyone know exactly where it is. So that is that. I mean, at the end of the day, you can give advice to a friend, but she doesn't, she may not always take that advice. But for me personally, I'm going to need Lana to wake up. We can, of course, move on to the night time. So Lana and Casey were having a conversation and he said that he wanted to essentially find out what exactly is going on because I do not want to be under any circumstances involved in this triangle. And I love that. It's given mature, okay? We love a guy that's mature and a guy that has sense. Um, personally, I don't feel like Lana reassured him as well as she should. She literally just said, you know, I do really like you. I think we have a good connection, but, you know, what's leading me towards Ron is the fact that I don't know for two weeks honestly cut all this time situation out i really don't care for it you time means nothing when you really think about it okay you can be in a relationship with someone for two years and i know this is a stretch right but you can be in a relationship with someone for two years and they may not treat you well but you can be with someone for six months or even two weeks or something and they could have treated you better than that individual did in, in an entire sorry two years so i think lana honestly needs to read the room i mean time honestly means nothing it's about how someone genuinely treats you and how they feel about you as well um um, anything else on a flag from that other than the fact that Ron was very cocky with it okay he was talking to the other guys and he was just like oh they're in the kissing spot because they're definitely um sitting on the terrace having this conversation I just need Ron to honestly just tone it down and whoo hush his mouth <laughs> okay Ron oh yeah close it stop talking I just feel like Ron is way too cocky and it like I said it has only been two weeks so yeah you can say two weeks of this two two weeks that but you didn't treat her right in those two weeks so why on earth do you think you have a one up from someone who actually cares about her and shows a genuine interest with her and also has a cleaner slate than yours make that make sense um let's move on to sammy and ronnie's ronnie you know oh, guys i've been calling him ron his name is ronisha oh my god how can i forget let's move on to sammy and ronisha having a conversation um she was blunt and this is why i love sammy okay and it just shows the difference between sammy and lana as well because sammy was able to read the bs from ron and shut it down immediately she said listen i feel like you have the gift of the gap i feel like you like to talk a lot you're this you're that but you are not straightforward and ron was like yeah yeah um sammy was being very serious I think Ronnie Shah at the beginning thought that it was quite funny and was kind of like laughing but she was very blunt like yeah it's annoying now like you need to cut it out and he literally said I think he said he needs to follow his heart and his head when it comes to Lana which in turn means I'm definitely going to try and pursue Lana um they ended up dead in the whole situation but I don't know okay guys it, it just goes to show as a female please make sure your head is screwed on Sammy and Lana were given the same guy Sammy read the nonsense and deaded it Lana's head is still in the clouds how does that make sense? Okay, wake up, baby. Smell the hot Rabina ASAP. Let's move on to Ron speaking with Lana. Um, he essentially wanted to kind of get the gist to figure out what happened on the terrace of Casey. Like I said, I do definitely need Lana to wake up. Um, he was saying stuff like, oh, you know, I'm always nervous around you. Oh, really? Mm. Nervous around me. Very, very, very interesting. But confident around Sammy. Oh, okay. I must have missed that bit. But like I said, guys, struggle love is not my destiny and struggle love is not yours. <laughs> okay? Struggle love is not any of our destinies. So, in all honesty, if that's the road that Lana wants to hike on and build a tent and build a house and start the family, I beg she can definitely do that. But I just feel like I want that storyline wrapped up definitely this time next week, ASAP. And to, I honestly feel like she should give Casey a chance and Ronisha needs to get a taste of his own medicine now of course everyone was chilling um and kai ended up bringing olivia a drink not really much to speak about there he only brings her drinks i just feel like kai is as bland as he looks so him and olivia can couple up so we can send you home um but of course they ended up getting a not no they didn't even end up getting a text sorry my bad my jama ended up walking in and my goodness what an absolute beauty oh my, my ugh, she's actually no one's mate she looks at absolutely stunning i had to stand but of course she came to deliver the news for everyone to gather around the fire pit because the public had been voting for their favorite guy i did already tell you guys in yesterday's episode review sorry that i decided not to vote for anyone because none of them give if i was going to vote it would have been casey and casey was exempt from the vote because him and jordan were the newest bombshells so of course um she mentioned the four guys who will be safe and then the other three who are at risk of elimination but it's actually two guys that will be going home in sunday's episode the four boys who were safe will no surprise there we definitely like he's the public's fave shack okay all right people are using their boats okay that's nice tom 
you guys do not understand the assignment because why is Tom sitting in that villa? Why is Tom saying, what has Tom given us for the past two weeks other than headache and height? Absolutely nothing. But Tom ended up being saved. And last but not least, Ron. Oh my gosh. When my Jammer said his name, I was thinking, no. Uh, guys, get this guy out. Get Tom and Ron out, please. Like, I'm just tired. I'm tired. But on the other hand, Aaron and Spencer have been talking furniture for a while. So Aaron, Spencer and Kai were the three guys with the lowest votes. And Maya Jama said that two people were going to be dumped from the island. Let us keep it a buck. Although the voting um, results isn't in the hands of the public, it is in the hands of the girls. And with the whole Kai and Olivia situation definitely springing forth, there is no doubt about it that Kai is going to be the one to be saved. Um, with Spencer, I feel like Tanyol may like him, but I don't know if they like him enough for them to keep him over Kai in the villa especially because it's like they like please and Olivia in that villa as well so they're gonna definitely try and make her feel happy um and Aaron yeah it was your time to go you were running on borrowed time <laughs> okay you were definitely running on borrowed time um so yeah I definitely think that they are going to save Kai but I'd love to know what you guys actually thought of that episode down below overall like I said quite bland I don't really care for these storylines right now or these couples I mean Lana and Ron we need to dead that situation quick Olivia and Kai they can couple up and they can go home um anything else Tom he can go I don't know why Who, who's voting for Tom reveal yourself in the comments now okay in the comments now um but yeah overall those are my thoughts on today's episode i'd love to know what you guys actually thought of that in the comment section below once again today is actually friday so there will be no love island tomorrow and we'll definitely be back on sunday but i want to thank you so much for your love and for your well wishes it feels good to be back it feels good to be seeing you and it feels good to be doing these reviews every single day again but yeah other than that guys if you haven't yet subscribed be sure to subscribe and definitely join the family and i hope you have an amazing and a restful and a wonderful weekend Thank you so much for your love and your support and I shall see you on Sunday. Bye.